comrades, welcome. Allow me to display for you my HEPA filtered mask. I posted a story on Instagram earlier showing that I had completed this mask and my DMs blew up. If I would have known this was going to be the way to get people to slide into my DMs, I would have made masks long ago. I know there is a vast collection of useful videos showing how to make multiple styles and instances of masks. I'm not going to try to take away from that market today. What I'm going to show you is the materials that I use to make my HEPA filtered mask and, more importantly, where you can find elastics. If you're anything like me, you're probably behind the curve in terms of getting materials to make such a thing. That is, of course, excluding the fact that I have tons of fabrics laying around because I do make a lot of my own clothing. Speaking of fabrics, the base fabrics for this mask are, in fact, not cotton, which is very commonly used for them. I, on the other hand, am using a polyester nylon blend for both the back and the front of this mask. I'm also a bit of a techie, so I have a bunch of Velcro straps that I use for cable management. I use the same material to close up my mask. I have one at the top to seal the top and two on the sides. Opening up the Velcro is going to allow you to get to the inner part of my mask. Here you can see the composition of my mask, which is basically four pieces of fabric sewn together two by two. I have my elastics, which I'm going to show you where I got this from. And lastly, if you look on the inside, I've added two extra pieces of fabric where I have a twisty tie. Is that what they're called? Twisty ties? That I slipped inside the mask. And that's what's going all across the top for piping. I might sew this down at some point, but then that's just aesthetics and we're not here for that. Outside of the fact that this pattern looks way better than those standard run of the mill masks you'll see running around. Now that we've talked about the materials that I've used for my particular mask, let's talk about where I got the elastics. If you have access to any of the most convenient department stores like Target or Walmart, you have access to all the elastics you probably need. If you go find a pair of leggings, the brand that I chopped from happened to be the same brand that I used to make my custom tops, or a few of them, that you might have seen in some of my other pictures. I'll show you how I got the elastics out of it. Inside this particular pant, I used my scissors and made an incision at the top, right about here, just around by the logo at the top of the inner back of the pant. This particular brand is Avaya. I'm not, I'm not trying to market to them, but I guess I just kind of gave them a plug, so cheers to you. And what I want to show you is inside this pant, you have two sets of elastic. One of them, conveniently enough, happened to be this black stripping that you see that I kind of cut before the video. And once you cut this off, you can pull this through, and voila, you've got an excellent piece of elastic that you can work with for your project. With that said, I think we've covered all the components of the mask at this point. Twisty tie, elastic coming from leggings, and then some source of cloth. In this particular case, as I mentioned, I used poly spandex and I did another layer of poly spandex in the back. I picked white because I like to see how dirty I am. <laughs> Just kidding. You can use whatever color you want, however you want to design it. One last element I would like to display for you guys is the difference between covering your face with any type of material versus using a HEPA filter. The poly nylon, it's a pretty good filter and it gets even better if you add in a HEPA filter. You probably know this, but HEPA filters are rated to block more than 99% of allergens and microns. I just placed my HEPA filter inside my mask. Well test, go. That was the blow test with a HEPA filter, but just to show you, even if you aren't able to find a HEPA filter, you're still providing some protection for yourself, and I'll demonstrate. We will do the same blow test without a HEPA filter inside my mask. Voila. With that said, that's the end of my video. 
I hope this was informative to you in some way. Otherwise, I would say the same things that you've been hearing. Be safe, be healthy, and be smart about the decisions that you make. Cheers and take care.